Hello there, fellow friends of YouTube and all other corresponding people. Uh, today, first of all, welcome back to Rampage's Gaming Channel. Today, I got a special treat for you. Today, uh, we will be taking a, a playthrough through the Quantum Break game that just came out. I'm excited to play this. One, it, it has Iceman on it. <laughs> Iceman is... He's just a guy. Just a wonderful guy. And two, I've been anticipating this game since they announced it at the E3. And I'm so excited. I've seen the videos. I'm so excited to play it. Uh, without further ado, so I don't talk your ears off, let's start this. <laughs> this looks so exciting. Uh, brightness. Um, let's see how it looks. That one looks that one looks suggested enough. Don't wanna blind you. Uh-huh. I didn't truly read that. I hope you guys did. <laughs> Totally did forgot that. All right, let's see. Let's go into options. What? Show tutorials? Uh, yeah, sure. Cause I don't, I haven't played this game, so I don't know. Aim assist? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> In every other game, I aim ass. Gotta make sure it's, it's good for the books, guys. Gotta make sure it's good for the books. Vibration strength. Uh, it's whatever. Time power assist. What does that mean? Controls, mm, looks simple, audio, text language, they have other languages, uh, where's subtitles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's disable copyrighted music because uh, I don't want to get flat. Because that would be bad. Ah, oh, there we go. Subtitles on. Because we need those. Alright, everything looks good. Oh. Okay, guys, <laughs> let me go talk to her for a minute because it's supposed to be juicy. Alright, let's start this. This is exciting. I'm excited. Can you tell? I'm so excited. Uh, easy, new to shooters. <laughs> Come on, guys. You see me play Rainbow Six? I'm the best. Normal. Because <laughs> if we go hard, you can't go hard in the beginning. It's not allowed. They don't allow that. Riverport University Experiment, Act 1, Part 1. I'll try not to c talk during the cutscenes, so you might hear me go silence, because I want you guys to listen to. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. Oh, these it's graphics are beautiful. Down. Sorry, I'll stop talking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. 
He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... Not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, I guess we're starting. Cool. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> where'd that guy go? What? I guess I should go find Paul. <laughs> oh, he's disappeared. He looked important. Let's see here. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for. Um, I. It's just whatever's done not even matter anymore. I'm yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah? I doubt he's out here. I better head into the campus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's drunk. Alright, uh, this game is visually beautiful. It's stunning. These dudes outdid themselves. Look at my face. God, I look like Iceman. You know I am, nice man. Uh, this is so. Ooh. What did? Why is there people lying all over the street? But my phone's ringing. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. Stelvin told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Interesting dialogue. Oh! Reading material. Hey you, take action now. The monarch's solution is supposed to tear down the pride. Of Riverport University, the beautiful historic library building of generations have studied in. This is part of our heritage, but they don't care. Are you gonna put up with that? Of course you aren't. Are you gonna take action? Of course you are. First of all, go online, use hashtag save the library and get loud. The only way they'll stop is if they look bad enough doing it. Secondly, join our protest at the university on October 8th. Let's show them there are still people left in Riverport and give a crap. Yeah, because that's how you, uh, <laughs> that's how you really make a statement. Twitter, everything. Use the internet. <laughs> go online, sign up. That's... Vaguely ominous. Oh, that's a face. That's a man's face. And then... I don't know art. I can't understand this. I'm not an artist. My artist artique are... Okay, that way. Ooh. Somebody's in the grass. What's poppin', big homie? Some protest. Let me get his shoes. Let me get his shoes. Come on. You get his shoes. How do I get his shoes? I want Oh, his phone's just lent. Let me take that. Let me, let me go put him in bed. I can't do that either. What a nuisance. Let's see here. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the directions. <laughs> She's cheating. Hey, can we go home yet? Okay, another post reading. I love reading material. It's so fun. Stop monarch problems. For years, monarch solutions have been buying out Riverport piece by piece. 
steamrolling over small businesses and local culture to establish corporate dominance. On October 9th, they intend to demolish the historic Riverport University Library to make way for additional monarch-funded university research centers. They've gone too far. Sick of the monarch pollutions turning our city into corporate monopoly. So are we. It's time to stop. Trading cultures for profit. It's time to stop monarch. On October 8th at 7 p.m., help us spread awareness of monarch's shameful actions by joining our protests at the Central Courtyard. Camp out and enjoy the all-night music. Tell your friends for more information. Contact Amy Ferrero. <laughs> she sounds like a nifty woman. Uh, at a Ferrero at Riverport. Blah, blah, blah. This is a non-alcoholic event. Yeah, that obviously planned over well. <laughs> that obviously was the idea. What's over here? Sophia Armino seminar poster. Guest seminar. Dr. Sophia Armino. <laughs> Uh, Thursday, September 29th, 7 p.m. at the Henry Kim Theater. Kim? The recently appointed head of Monarch Solution Physics Research Division, Dr. Sophia Amramamra, has taken much of her inspiration from the theories of Riverpoint's own Dr. William Joyce and now devotes herself to discovering partial applications for quantum particles. Her presentation will highlight evolution. Quantum particle research and will be followed by a QA focused on career advice of aspiring physicists. Physician physicists. Physicine physicists. Come on, Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. The protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, they're talking about Ferrero? Is she popping over here? If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're Woo! gonna shut down. Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, <laughs> then you could just ask me. Ooh, I could. All right, what's going on here? Okay. I mean, how that, Jamie? How would you feel if you knew a Oof. corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Uh, how do I, Go ahead, how do check I, out the chart. where's the chart at? What chart? Oh, is that the chart? What's this chart? Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. Yeah. And look at those numbers. They're slowly Woo! taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I got to meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> yeah, because that's a man. Unless, let's not assume people. <laughs> let's not assume anything. Okay, selling out Riverport since 1999. Brought out all major tech security companies. Very questioning regarding who was truly running Monarch. Brought out our major media outlets. Questions stopped being asked. Brought Gull Island. Tore down war monuments. Demolished Riverport Central train station. Purchased its entire industry's district dialogue. Aim to demolish Riverport University. What is Monarch's agenda? Nobody knows. Who runs the company? Nobody knows. When do we want answers? Now! <laughs> now. Right now. Let's see. Let's hear. It's just. It's not a lake. It's a, what? It's an ocean. <laughs> oh, what? Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. 
Uh... Is this the Adventures of Time Cop? Every story finds its writer. Is this the X Files? Cause I, I didn't watch the X Files. What is going on? I don't understand. All of us have two faces. Uh -huh. The one yeah. we wear for all to see, and the okay. face that lies beneath in the dark. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't Paul understand what I want. Paul success. Driven. <laughs> he made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Sure, Liam. I said your name, so you must be important. Dr. Kim's memorial article. Oh, Dr. Kim again, huh? Dr. Henry Kim, dear friend and colleague. Henry Kim, PhD, passed away on Friday, February 12, 2016. Oh, what a shame. At the age of 50, as professor of Rufford University, Dr. Kim was praised for his tireless devotion to his field and to his book, Dr. William Joyce and Dr. Elton Meyer, whose research efforts eventually led to the discovery of Meyer, Mayor Joyce Field for his students. He later made the name for himself as the director of Modern Solutions Physics Research Division on the technical position. He also contributed heavily to research at Riverport University, leading to his services to develop uh, Project Promenade based on his students' discoveries, which continued to work on until the time of his death. Hmm. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Well, it's Paul Sherman, project director. Jude Cobb's business ventures behind him, publishing him from the group where you can send it. It's most significant because of research projects. The university has seen as the youngest project of director of history of a university, by far the most successful to date. His involvement has encouraged a flood of high profile investments that result in an extremely ambitious yet unraveled quantum physics project referred to as Project Permanent. In his own words, I'm not a scientist myself, and thus it may come as a surprise to many that. But I to obtain the position here at the university for me it's true. true. Growing up, my best friend was the brother of the now quantum physicist William Joyce. Well, he's been fascinated by William's work and his publications from 1997 to 1999. We're groundbreaking for the scientific community. As a businessman, I've been able to help shape the path, create critical exceptions. William's work by building the foundations and created the group of best and talented physicists. That was the basis of Project Harmony and the results of an absolutely revolutionary. Publishing's favorite sports team is the River Floyd Rex, as you can see on the front row at every game. Yeah, the Rexes. Rex Tex. Ooh, what's over here? I wish I could sprint. The slow jogs are making me nauseous. But it's so visually beautiful. Let me study this art sculpture. Yes, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Lovely and beautiful. Look at this. It's looking gracious. Oh, I can talk to that man now. Cool. What's up, bro? Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. 
You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Oh. Just walk away. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first time what you call it compared bats. to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh. That's what happens later on? Thanks for telling me. Now nah, I cannot get punched dead. Move along. And punch that check off in the face. Alright, let's go. Time to go inside. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed <laughs> Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. <laughs> Khakis. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. To step up from our van trip to Utah. I miss that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. Oh, elevator in There's style. Than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man. I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. I love presentations. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. <laughs> there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and yes. time. The black Years hole theory, ago, I know this. William Joyce... <laughs> Your brother posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Mm -hmm. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. I'm sorry, what? And the results are staggering. <laughs> There's more. But that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this manipulate is about time physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Would it be? Over here, Jack. This is what I've been working on. Is this my adventures as a time cop? Because I promise, I've played Time Crisis only a couple of times, but I can certainly say I've mastered it. Let's go. I'm a time cop. Watch me be the great. Welcome to Project Promenade. Yes, because your Stone Crow t-shirt is bringing me 